Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn in detail about invoke code activity. Everything in detail. What are the arguments we have to use? How to write this codes? Everything in detail. And after that, we are going to answer this specific question from the UiPath certification practice test. I hope you guys have started following the UiPath certification playlist and you are maintaining a notebook, what I daily suggest and writing your new learnings in a separate notebook so that anytime required you can revise them. So let's get started and understand this particular example. Okay. So what they are doing, if you look at, if you read this, a developer is working with a variable in named list customer ID. So there is a variable called list customer ID of type list of string. So you need to know how to initialize a list okay how do you enter some values to it which is initialized with 1001 1002 in the same order okay 1001 and 1002 in the same order so how to initialize a list with this two default values that is one learning next learning they are using a invoke code activity and in the invoke code activity they are using look at this input output underscore list customer id dot add add is the method and they are adding one more number 1003 so here your id your variable is list customer id and here they have written input output so how do you create an argument for this invoke code i am going to teach you and they are they are looping through this output and you can see dot reverse so what would be the output now if you do not understand right in case you are not aware of this uh, invoke code still you can looking at this logic so the initial values are 1001 1002 and they are adding 1003 and they are doing a reverse so what would be the output 1003 1002 1001 any any you know even though you don't have a knowledge you can answer this right and uh, here they are looping through that uh, variable and they are printing the output right so here this is the argument what they have created they are passing out this list customer id to this one and what is the answer they want but you have to learn many things around it okay so let's get started quickly and start designing this so first thing what we will do we will use a invoke code and you also do along with me because you have to practice on your uipath studio that's where you would learn so drag and drop the invoke code okay now first of all for this particular sequence for the main sequence i'll be creating a variable i'll highlight this and let's create a variable what is the variable they have created let's see that the variable name is list customer id so let's create it in the similar way list customer id okay let me increase this slight a bit all right so list customer id and what is the data type we have selected list of string go to browse for types and type list okay and slowly scroll down give it a second because this is the window where um, it takes a lot of time to scroll and it might freeze sometimes for me okay so this is the one microsoft core library and this is the list i have selected and here it's supposed to be string type done so one of our task is completed we have defined the variable type now we need to enter some default values to it so how to write it so you have to write new list in bracket you have to say of string they are of string data right uh, string and then you have to provide some default value so you will say from curly braces and you are going to say what are those two values 1001 comma so all this you should make a note okay this is how you will be writing the syntax so this is declared fine so one task is completed now what is the next task we'll go to the invoke code activity we'll click on edit arguments okay so what is the argument they have created if you see if you scroll down they have created input output list customer id direction in and out okay and they are passing this currently created variable to this particular argument for it to work inside the invoke code so let's do that so i have created i have clicked on edit argument 
and on this window we have to write so let's do that what is the name input output underscore list customer id and what is the direction in out and what is the type list okay and what what value we should pass the list customer id variable so what is the value it will go 1001 and 1002 two ids will be passed all right so our one second activity is done now what is the next thing we have to write some code so click on this edit code and in the edit code this code editor panel we have to write so what is that let's write the variable first input output underscore list customer id all right dot and we would like to add a value to this list so i will use the method add and in the bracket i will say 1003 okay so once i have added i will hit on enter again i will write that variable input output list customer id okay ensure your spelling is correct dot reverse okay so i am going to reverse the order so if you don't reverse what would be the output 1001 1002 1003 so i am going to reverse it okay now click on okay so this is what you have done inside the invoke code okay so it's done all right after that i would like to do a loop in and try to print out the values so i will use a for each activity i'm going to add you few ask you a few additional questions okay so keep watching uh, in the for each now tell me shall i use the input output list customer id or shall i use the so always see what is the outcome of this activity so it's a in out so first of all it is going to pass the values to this particular argument and once that has been you know in the code once it runs the code whatever the final output appears again is going to pass it out so it's in out so it will pass it out and the final value will be stored in this variable so you should use this variable not this one okay so i'll be using list customer id variable understood so let's go for it list customer id and this particular list is a string type so i'm going to select string type in the for each and now i want to print the output so what is the output so let's do that right line and i will say item okay i'm going to ask you a few questions after this so item so now what would be the output of this it will be first we are passing the values what are the values we are passing 1001 1002 and inside the invoke code i'm adding a value 1003 and then i'm reversing that order okay so the output will be 1003 1002 1001 so we can expect this okay so let's quickly run this and try to see the output now let's focus on the output panel so the execution started okay now see how it's going to write it okay 1003 look at this look at this 1003 1002 and 1001 okay this is the output so as per this if you go through these questions completely the argument panel of the invoke code activity is reflected as so so what is the based on the graphics what is the output of the right line activity so the output is quite clear the output is 1003 1002 1001 and we just proved it right so let me ask you one additional question the question is first question can i use input output list customer id variable outside of this invoke code is it possible can i do some kind of a change to the scope and try to do it hmm? think about that so let's say invoke code now look at this the argument because i have not created you using this panel now this is this is not available over here so generally we don't use it we generally use a in out so that's why we put a direction so that the final output will go to a variable rather than staying in an argument okay generally we don't do that so if you create a so the best practices we store it out in a variable so if you write let's say i'm using a message box and if i write in out underscore list customer id this variable won't be even recognized do you see it is not able to recognize this variable so what is the variable it can recognize 
list customer id okay i showed you that so list customer id so if you type it if it is automatically coming that's the indication that is it is able to recognize okay now if i ask you what is the output of this guys if i am going to write two now think what would be the output of this thousand one thousand two or thousand three now look at this what is the output the output will be thousand and one why why the output is thousand one because when it reversed the index number zero get assigned to thousand three one two so the index starts from zero right zero one two so the output of the message box will be thousand and one so you should also remember this okay so this is an additional learning for you so thank you guys for watching we are going to come up with more such interesting contents and uh, I'll help you to go through the certification practice test and for your preparation. Take care. Bye-bye.